Hello Rat Bags, it's Jade. Welcome to a grounded little guide today. I'm going to show you how to access the test servers. The test servers are not just for Steam and PC users anymore. It's available on the Xbox. You're going to need to be part of the Xbox Insider program if you want to take a look and try all the brand new Pond update content that has just gone live on the test servers on Steam and the Xbox Insider program. For more details about what the update contains, all the patch notes, new perks, some of the creatures and items, go and check out the other video that's gone live alongside this one, giving you all the details. But this video is just going to show you exactly how to sign up and pretty much play the brand new Grounded content. If you don't go ahead and sign up and try it this way, you're going to have to wait until something like November the 5th, possibly even November the 11th. That's when they reckon they're going to update the game because it's such a big update, lots of new content. They really want to test things first. So they need your feedback. Absolutely fill out the feedback forms. There's little bits you can do on Steam. I do believe they have it on Xbox as well where you can give feedback about stuff if you encounter any bugs and problems and issues. So let's go how to play the latest Grounded Pond update on Xbox. So make sure you restart your console and make sure that your Xbox Insider app is up to date. You make sure you do this by just clicking on it and it should start up and update if there's anything inside. Once you've started it up, go ahead to the Insider content and you normally find things like Minecraft, maybe even PUBG if it's still available or Sea of Thieves. But now you'll also find the grounded public test server. Click here. If it says download, go ahead and download it. If it says manage, then you can go ahead and check and leave if you want to. Now, I thought it would set up a brand new version, just like I've seen in the past with PTSs, but nope, it is going to actually kind of replace your grounded game at the moment. So if you do want to go back to your old grounded saves, you're going to have to go back into this app and then leave the program. Once you've done that, go ahead and launch the game and you should see that it may still say 3.502 as the update. That's the old update. It's got to say something like 0.4. So quit the console, quit the game, quit everything and then restart your console. This might seem a bit basic, but I know a lot of you guys are pretty young and you don't necessarily maybe try out some of these ones or if you're a parent or you're just someone that's never really bothered with the test live servers, I am pretty much showing you how to eat cheese. A few things to note, this test live server will be updated in the next couple of weeks. They're going to add more content to it as well. So you will have to make sure that it is updated. If it isn't working properly, you may just need to download the next update for it. So once you've gone ahead and rebooted your console, if you check your queue, your updates, you should see that it is now downloading grounded again. It's around 3 GB. If for any reason it seems stuck, just leave it. Make sure nothing else is happening. You're not playing any other games in the background either. Just leave it for a couple of minutes and it should kick in and start itself. So once it's downloaded, once you've started it again, you should see there now it's a new public test on the right hand side top. So you know you've uploaded or you, you're trying to, the proper grounded version you're meant to. And it should be something like 0.4 something, something, something. And that is it, we're in the game on an Xbox and I'm in creative mode so I'm going to go and just show you a couple key items from the latest update so you know it is this going on. Enjoy the new stuff, the brand new perks, we've got three of them, obviously they're not showed here but I will show you them in the other video, you'll find a link to it in the comment section. You've got all the brand new items, all the water coil armour and of course the new build pieces where you can actually build on the water itself now with a buoyancy foundation so that's going to be really cool be interesting to see what people come up with and you've also got the new buoyancy markers as well to keep track of stuff where you are like i said if you want to opt out of this when they do the big update you're going to need to leave the beta the test server and then it will kind of re-download your game for you if that's not appearing at all make sure you are on the correct beta it should appear even if you are not on the x side uh, like latest rings if you're maybe the um, Mega ring if that means nothing to you look it up exactly what type of rings there are because there's different rings that give you different access but it should be available for everyone no matter what ring you're on and yeah just showing you as well that there's some new smoothies too oh, my name is jade i'll give you guides tutorials go and check out all my grand content i'll see you rat bags later